Hey, what's going on everybody? Dan here, coming to you from beautiful Gulf Shores State Park in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Wanted to do a video today. This is our first trip of the season and we've had the Puma for a year. So wanted to do a video of some of the top uh, add-ons that we've done to the Puma to make it even more of a home. Something that you don't get from the manufacturer and uh, we feel it not only makes your trip better, but some cases easier. So here we go. Before we get started, I have to give a special thank you to Walnut Ridge for providing us all of these awesome products that I'm gonna be talking about today. Uh, you know, I mentioned earlier these products make life easier, they, they're more convenient um, all around, and I just wanna say thank you to them for providing these to us so we could show them to you guys. One of the first add-ons that we did is a propane tank gauge, which is shown right here. Um, I plan on getting a second one, uh, just so I don't have to transfer this back and forth. You know, most RV units come with this little dial thing. It'll tell you that you're still good, you're still in the green, uh, will turn red when you're done. This just gives me a really nice, accurate reading on how much propane I have in each one of my tanks. One of the next I think must haves is a surge guard. And this one is the model 44270 uh, surge guard, again, given to us by Walnut Ridge. This one is a 50 amp, but it comes in 50 amp and 30 amp. And as you can see, this will tell you a lot of information about these pedestals. It'll tell you if you have open neutral, open ground, um, if you have any low power or high power right when you hook up to the pedestal. And why that's important is a lot of these older campgrounds have older wiring on them. So you want to make sure that you're protecting your unit. You know, you have a lot of sophisticated electronic equipment. You have your air conditioners. You have, in most cases, you have uh, plasma or LCD TVs, uh, washer dryers. This unit not only protects you from a surge, um, but also protects you from low or high power outputage, which is very important. Now, one thing to note on these, there's, there's several different models of these, including inline ones, which are actually built into your camper. This one I like, it's super simple to use. I know a lot of people worry about theft of these. Knock on wood, we've had zero problem in our campgrounds. They just plug directly into your existing power cord. They plug straight in. It's gonna be really hard to see with the light out here today, but you have the light indicators right here telling you if you have any issues or faults. And this one does 4,200 joules of surge protection. Um, again, different models, different bases. I'll include links to all of these products down below, but uh, you know it's important to know. Sticking in line to protecting your unit while you're traveling, uh, electric obviously being incredibly important, but another one is your water pressure. You don't know when you come to a campground what your water pressure is going to be like, and you don't want to force too much pressure into your RV line, leave for the day and come back and have a busted line. That's where this little jobby here does an amazing job. I hook it directly in. And as you'll see right here, you're able to dial up or dial down the water pressure. I usually run around, Sarah must be inside running water right now. I usually run around 50 to 55 PSI for my water pressure. Does great for showers, washing your hands, all that good stuff, and doesn't damage your unit. Incredibly affordable a piece. I think these are like $20, and in my opinion, an absolute must have. In addition to that, you also don't know what the water is going to be like there. So we always buy these RV water filters. I think we get them at Walmart and we get like a two pack or a three pack. I uh, don't remember the price. I'll put a link down below. These are great. You turn them on, let it flush out initially, and then these give you nice clean drinking water and a little filter protection from what's probably well water here. You know, I recently did a video on the Moride steps, but after using them a week and being out here, I think it's important to highlight the, these are a more expensive upgrade to your camper, but one that I found, in my opinion, to be an essential upgrade. So as you'll see, they're a lot wider. They're the full width of the door, um, very stable, which I love. 
We did put carpet on these, uh, that little RV carpet for the steps uh, to help our dogs get up and down. But we found that since we put these in, instead of having to pick the dogs up every time and put them in the camper, they're going up and down. They're incredibly easy to use. So as you'll see, when you're ready to leave, all you do, pick them up, push them in, and they actually lock in place inside your unit when you're traveling down the road. So here's the old RV steps. Now one thing I did find that I thought was cool is Moride actually creates a lockable box that you can put there to uh, uh, have storage, take out those steps and have storage, additional storage when you're traveling. Another really cool feature about these Moride steps to point out is that you can change the leveling. So as you see here, you've got these two legs and there's a pin right there. So if you get into a situation where you're on unlevel ground, which we're on level ground here, we have a nice pull through site. Uh, but if you're on unlevel ground, you can raise or lower those legs uh, to fix your height. No convenient add on video is complete in my opinion without talking about our oxygenic shower head. This was one of the first things that we installed um, once we bought our camper. We heard great things about it. I cannot say enough about these things. They're absolutely amazing. The quality of shower that you get over the default shower head in these is wonderful. They have the same hot water shutoff, well, drip. They have all these different settings, but they do something in there that makes you feel like you're getting a fuller shower longer. I did a video, I'll put a link down below when we first bought it, but this to me isn't a convenience thing, this is a must have in your unit. Mm -hmm.